All right. Well, hello, water signs, and welcome back to Peony Lore, where we help you to find the beauty in all things. So we're going to do something a little bit different this week. We're going to do all water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We're going to go in succession, and then I'll timestamp them down below. What we're going to do is um, kind of a chilled down version. This is the week of the 28th through the July 4th period. We have a little bit of a respite here. <laughs> We've got an opportunity to take all of the energy that's popped off um, with all these retrogrades, especially with Neptune going in retrograde last week um, and Jupiter um, also in retrograde last week. And so people are going to be in their fields this week and that's totally fine. And while people are in their fields, we just kind of want to slow it down just a little bit to give you an opportunity to review all the content that's in there. So we are going to use the dragon oracles we've got our blue obsidian dragon and we've got our rock quartz dragon that's here to help support that got a little bit of dragon music going on here so we've got the main cards are going to be the energy of the dragon tarot we're also going to use the dragon oracle um, we're also going to bring in the numerology deck this week and we're also going to bring back the naughty unicorns for a little bit of brevity for you okay um, we will also utilize the oracle of the radiant sun so Water signs, we're getting ready to get into it. So what I'm asking the dragons to do, or what I've been guided to do, is provide the details for each of the different signs here um, and really dig into the energy for what you guys are going through as a collective. So this is the collective for all water signs. Again, we will break it down and timestamp for each of the different groups, but your collective energy, okay, is going to be read uh, with our, um, sacred geometry deck collective energy for all of our water signs june 28th through july the 4th thank you thank you thank you there we go okay so we have a frequency card for all of our water signs we're talking about liberating guilt and fear 396 hertz this is card 25 which reduces down to a seven so liberating guilt and fear there are going to be some opportunities for you to realize what that means for you when it comes to practical matters we did sit down and talk about that last week when neptune went into its retrograde period and <clears throat> coming up with that thought process of what is going to be most practical for you okay now, i'm sorry i'm just adjusting my chair so that i can get comfortable as we get into this okay so we're going to start off with cancer okay liberating guilt and fear let's get into what that means for you on monday this is for our cancers collective oh no that's not going to work had on some awesome little dragon music and then i got a commercial we're just going to turn that bad boy off sorry <laughs> Okay, so the card that wants to come out here is the Eight of Coin. Okay, Eight of Coin, liberating yourself from guilt and fear. Again, this is the collective, um, but Cancer, um, releasing yourself from the Eight of Coin in the reverse position, meaning um, physical, tangible, touchable things. It could be a work situation. It can be taking a break from work. It can be feeling um, the release of fear from um, being in transition from workplace to workplace at this particular moment. It actually means that um, there has been some consideration for what that day-to-day -day activity means for you and taking a break to appreciate your mastery in a particular portion of a situation. Okay, so that is what's going on for you, Cancer, on Monday. Let's take a look at where we're at on that Tuesday. Tuesday's energy is the queen of coin, also in the reverse position. Okay, so you are feeling a little bit unstable at this particular moment, is what we're getting here. And again, you're being invited to release yourself and liberate yourself from any guilt or fear that's associated with being in between or making a change or realizing that you had to do something that was going to stop the effort that was bringing in um, resource. Now, it doesn't always have to be physical money, but it can be a resource of some, of, of some situation, person, place, thing, um, but it is a tangible result at this particular moment. Um, so water signs, I realize with this pentacles energies that's showing up here that we are very much um, uh, could also be dealing with um, an earth sign um, that is in your energy right now. Okay, so let's just make sure that we bring that forward. Let's see where we're at on Wednesday. Okay. 
Now on Wednesday, which is the 30th, there is an opportunity for everyone really to understand where they're at between the energies of Mars and Saturn. Where's the line between what, you re what your reality is? Remember, we talked about this with Neptune going retrograde last week. Where's the line on Wednesday between what's reality, where you're being asked to realize that, and the drive and passion you have going forward? Okay, so that's what Wednesday's all about. Let's see what's going on Wednesday for our Cancers. Thank you. Here we go, three of coin. Right on time. Again, pentacles energy, earth and energy, practical things, okay? Three of coins is very indicative of a collaboration. One, two, three. It's um, a trine. It's got the energy of uh, three different types of energies or three different types of processes, thought processes for people. Um, but it is the energy of collaboration. It is the energy of trying to bring something together at this particular moment. So again, on Wednesday, watching out for Mars and Saturn, and understanding what is it that's realistic for you versus where it is that you really want to go. Okay, still not bad energy. It's realization. That's what Neptune was asking us to do. Now let's get into the Thursday energy. Oh, Thursday energy for our Cancers, please. Oh, there it is. Hello. Now we have the world. Look at that. Look at what Saturn is doing. So we just talked about this. So with Mars and Saturn, you have to know where it is that you're going to be. But now with um, Saturn coming in here, the world is coming in for a second opportunity. So this is a lot of Taurus heavy energy for sure. Um, just to put that out there for individuals, it's a lot of Taurus energy. It's also Scorpionic energy. Um, so Taurus and Scorpio, the world um, that's popping through here. You also do have the um, energy of Leo, which is that pull, that, that, that push, that drive, that passion. And then Aquarius is that watery energy that tries to bring forward. So we have all of the major arcanas that are sitting here with the world position here but Saturn is here to provide you with a second opportunity um, to try to get something done um, and that is fabulous so again if you needed to take this these extra few days here on Monday and Tuesday in order to try to figure out what that was Wednesday's that kicker for you um, Thursday is where the realization of something is going to show up for you okay let's go oh thank you so much Friday's energy is the Four of Swords. Okay, so Friday's energy is, is about going to rest. This is a big turn of events for you here on Thursday. Friday is coming in talking about make sure that you take that rest. And there's also going to be some energy that is going to be delivered to you and you need to again take a take take advantage of this air information that's here for you you need to take a listen you need to take a break you need to take a nap you need to meditate you're going to find more information coming to you from clarity perspective from your dream time i'm telling you guys a pen and a paper is one of the most critical items that you can have in your spiritual ascension journey okay honestly use this 396 hertz that comes in with this rest time um, to really help you whew, feel clear throughout this entire week. But anytime that you get a resting opportunity, that is when you really have the invitation to go within and be with yourself, your higher self, your spirits, your guides, whoever it is that's within your pantheon that wants to bring something forward. This is the day that it's going to come out. Now, what it is that you're at on the Saturday is releasing yourself from anything that has been challenging you, troubling you, hurting you, um, confusing you, um, whether it's a person, place, thing, or another idea, um, this is the day where you're being asked to rest and go within because you're going to receive the clarity for whatever this happens to be on that um, Saturday. Let's get another card for Sunday, please. Cancer. There it is. Ha ha ha. Now we have the chariot. Um, hello. You are in your power. This is absolutely fantastic. So whatever is going on here, whatever you're releasing yourself from here, and even though it didn't show up in the reverse position, you are receiving the clarity that you need in order to get to this point. You are going to release the situation. It is going to be for your best and highest good, and you are going to move forward 
this is you and your energy taking that information now and driving those, well, in this case, they're dragons, <laughs> but taking that yin and that yang information and traveling, traversing down those roads that have to happen with a lot of equilibrium at this particular moment. I am absolutely loving this for you, Cancer. This is gorgeous. So we're not going to do clarifiers on this particular reading, guys. We're going to let the oracles kind of speak for themselves. But what I am going to do is I want to go in here with a numerology card for our cancers. Okay. Okay. <laughs> the issue for you right now is this 8-8 energy of abundance. So abundance can be lots of different types of things, right? Abundance can be people, places, money resources, time, space, anything that you need at this particular moment, this is what the chariot wants to be able to bring for you. So you need to be able to appreciate that that's what's happening. Okay. We are going to move forward now into um, a little beverage moment and we're going to bring in the naughty unicorns. What do the naughty unicorns want to tell our cancers? Well, there it is. <laughs> Don't rely on your friends or the internet. Listen to a professional if you need the support, especially when it comes to financial planning. <laughs> Ask a fucking expert. That's what it says. And that is important. Okay? You're getting a second opportunity to do something, to clear something up. So take that advice from spirit. Okay? Now we're going to go in with the dragon oracle at this particular moment. There we go. We have the earth and fire dragon, which is working with you. It's time for service. When you give, you receive. So um, when the queen of coins is in the reverse position, there's a little bit of instability that you're, that you're feeling or that that energy of instability is coming forward. Now, what I like about that is the fact that it's sitting next to this eight of coins. And so this four and four is a balanced type of a situation. You cannot make a change in your life if you're not willing to free yourself up of the one or two dollars that you need for an investment or to make a change or do whatever it is that you need to do. So this energy here helps to clear you of any of that information that is making you stagnant a little bit. It's a time for service. When you give, you receive, okay? That's the energy that we're going to put there. Now, we are going to go in really quick with our Oracle of the Radiant Sun Cancer, and let's see what else we can pop out for you for this particular week, okay? All right, first card that we have is a revenge card. <laughs> so this energy, this Mars energy in Scorpio is really what we're talking about here. Now, revenge doesn't mean like trying to get back at somebody, but what revenge does, and this is exactly where it's trying to clear you right here. This information that you get, this second opportunity that's here, this information that you're going to be receiving in your dream time, whether you're meditating or even in your waking dreams, okay, you're going to have thoughts that are going to pop up. You're going to need to rest with that. But what this information is going to come with are what are the next logical steps okay so that you don't have to get to that point revenge just definitely means okay that there was something that was going on with spirit now i would be remiss if i didn't mention this okay so i gotta do it three of swords three of um three of coins here if i would have had the three of wands that i would absolutely say for sure for sure for sure but if you are in a situation where you've got a third party situation going on it doesn't have to be cheating or anything like that in a personal relationship but whatever the ship is business ship partnership of some sort there has been some sort of a um collaborative challenge or breakdown at one particular point and this is where this healing is coming from so that is the bridge but this is the opportunity that it's coming to you in order to clear that out okay reconciliation what else do we have for our cancers at this particular moment mm? come all the way out please oh there it is where's my flipper here it is yes okay so the um excitement card here that goes in this general area here. This is Gemini energy, okay? And this is the energy of kind of where Mercury is still kind of doing its little dance. Now, even though Mercury went direct last Tuesday, we're still in the shadow period up until the 7th of July. So you've got another week to work through those different types of things, okay? All right. Oh, that was fast. Thank you very much. What we have here is the principal card. So this energy is the Sagittarius energy that we're going to actually put here on our chariot. Okay. Um, we are using this fire energy. Okay. To really talk about 
the luck, the fame, the fortune, the confidence, that charity expansion that's coming for leadership. And when it comes down to this charity, even though this is world here, we are talking about you and your principles within the particular situation that's here. Make sure that you are being heard and seen. All right. One more card for our cancers before we move on. Oh, there it is. Oh, I dropped it. Sorry. Let me just go grab that one real quick. And what we have here, ladies and gentlemen, is optimism. Okay. So, again, moon in Sagittarius energy. This also belongs here on this chariot here. Okay. So, this chariot card that we have here, I know that I'm putting the fire here. I get that. I understand what I'm doing. But there is this clearing that's getting ready to happen here. So this fire moment that's being supported by this world is really what this boils down to. There is going to be optimism in this new direction that you take. And it is going to lead you to some abundance. Okay? So let me take a look at the clock. We are at few minutes here I'm gonna go okay I've got my time stamp here sorry about that I'm just adjusting so that I can see my time on here and we are going to move forward with our next water sign water sign Scorpio okay so Scorpio we are still in that same frequency all right every single one of you is going to be at a point where you're still doing the process of liberating yourself from that guilt and that fear but let's go ahead let me just mark this down oh four for Scorpio thank you um, and let's see what that means for you so thank you dragons okay all right move these little guys over here like thus okay move this dude here this dude here this dude here and this dude here whoops wrong dude there we go <laughs> again all water signs are being asked to appreciate the 396 hertz that are coming in for them um, to liberate yourself from guilt and fear okay this is what the dragon said they said do the signage. <laughs> Do each of the elements. There is a collective um, energy that all of you water signs need to be able to appreciate. Okay? So, now, Scorpio. Here we go. <sighs> what do we have for you on Monday? All right. Monday's energy for you is this Knight of Cups. Okay, so the Knight of Cups is that energy of not moving forward and not sharing this cup with someone at this particular moment. This is not an offer. This is you not feeling comfortable providing somebody with something else. You are contemplating something at this particular moment. It's not time for you to do that. Show me what's going on with our Scorpio on Tuesday. Let's get the rest of the details here. What is going on with our Scorpio on Tuesday? Thank you. Thank you. Oh, look at that. So we have the Knight of Cups moving on to the King of Cups. Okay, well, it's getting stronger at this particular moment. The reason they're not giving it is because you are not personally in your element at this particular moment. You're a little bit not quite ready to divulge what needs to get done. You're still in your feels, and that is fine. If you're considering something that you may have done or something that you have said or anything else like that, just hold on to that because look at this. Very interesting. Three of Coins comes up again on that Wednesday's Energy that Wednesday's energy is going to be important for all of you guys, okay? Three of coins. What is it that you need to do at this particular moment to get your collective poop in a group to go forward? Um, what is it that you are trying to bring forward um, in collaboration, or in cahoots? What ideas do you have? What new foundation are you trying to bring together? Okay. Let's get that energy for our Scorpios for Thursday. There it is. Thank you. Knight of Swords energy. Okay, so Knight of Swords energy in the reverse position. So, Knight of Swords wants to come through and cut through and provide all the clarity that you need. You are still in your feels and you're going to have to move that water into that thought process at this particular moment, okay? Look at all the bubbles that are coming through. You're almost there. <laughs> the idea is coming. The clarity is going to be provided, but you're still not at a point where you are um, ready to cut through and deliver that information you're waiting for something particularly also from somebody scorpio it's not necessarily going to come on that thursday okay okay what else do we have for our scorpio friday 
Friday's energy, we have the energy of the sun in the reverse position. Now, the reason that it's in the reverse position is because um, you are still contemplating something. Now, when the energy shows up uh, of the sun, because this is an awesome card, even though it's still showing itself in the reverse position, the energy of the sun in the reverse position does technically mean that there is something glorious that's on its way, okay? But if you've been feeling burnt out, you need this water energy to restore yourself so that you can use your clarity and move forward with ease and grace. I want you to take a look at this yin-yang energy that's kind of sitting here, okay? Um, you have to be all the way balanced in order for this to come through. Now, the Saturday energy that comes through means that at some point you've made the decision. There was a decision that you made on this Saturday's energy with that Two of Wands. And that Two of Wands for you has the Wheel of Fortune that is in the reverse position, okay? So the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse position, okay? Um, well, what do we want to say about that? This is Jupiter's energy. Um, and I know in the um, Cancer reading, I described the world um, coming through with Saturn's energy. Okay, so we've got Jupiter energy that is still affecting you. Okay, and that's not bad. There's just a lot of emphasis on what this collaboration or this new um, energy is supposed to bring up for you. Now, I did not do this for um, the Cancer sign, but I am told to do this for you. You do have the star card that's coming through. So basically what you're going through, Scorpio, is working through, again, all of that energy that you have, all of that, all of that water energy. You still need to release whatever this guilt or this fear is with you taking this next step towards your new um, towards your new area, your new space, your new contemplation of whatever it is that you've got going on for you. Just because the Jupiter, or the Wheel of Fortune is in the reverse position doesn't mean no, it just means not right at this particular moment. The world can't bring you something um, in this position unless you're ready to receive it, okay? So continue to work through whatever it is. This is still a good combination with this three of coins, even though the sun is in the reverse position. There's a decision that you're making and you do not have to stress yourself out about it. Now, what I want to do is I want to take one of these little naughty unicorns here and let's see what information you have for our Scorpios. Okay. Mm, there we go. You need to cry. You need to let it out. If there's something that's holding you back, if there's something that you feel is holding you down, then you need to just let it out. The body can only release emotions naturally one of two ways. You either cry it out or you sweat it out. <laughs> you need a good cry. Get that ugly cry on. Let that shit go and your soul will thank you. Let it out. Let it out. Okay, you're squelching your own fire just a little bit by not doing that. Again, this is not a negative reading. It's just telling you that Neptune energy is really kind of sticking around with you a little bit this particular week. Okay, let's go in with our Dragon Oracle. Right. What we have for Scorpio is the royal blue and gold dragon strengthens you to stand in your power with wisdom. Awaken to your own majesty. Wear your cloak of power with pride. And again, that's where this little dude comes in right here. Okay. You got to be in your feels. Let it out if you need to let it out because the clarity is absolutely coming and you are going to be completely fine with it. Okay. Everybody needs to be able to do that. Relax, recalibrate, use the water, use the element of water to support you. Be in your element. It's totally fine. You've got something great that's coming. So now we're going to go in with the Oracle of the Radiant. No, we're not. They said go into the numerology. Thank you. I will go into the numerology. Whew. All right. So we're going to go into the numerology for our Scorpios. All right. What do we have for our Scorpios? Thank you. Personal growth. That's what this is about. And synchronicity. Um, <laughs> so the seven card that I told you about before, it is, uh, that's the same energy of this. This is personal growth. Allow yourself to feel and be, <coughs> beg your pardon, 
where you're at for that personal growth. And then watch out for the synchronicities that are coming. This row is telling me that it's just not at this particular week that things are going to turn around for you. So utilize your time, okay? You are going to get what you need. It's about your personal growth. So let's move this little dude over here and this little dude over here. Now let's go in with the Oracle of the Radiant Sun and let's see what other detail wants to pop out for our Scorpios. Scorpio, please. 28th through July 4th. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. <laughs> well, okay, so there's a lot of similarities with the Cancer. We get the same principal card here, okay? And the principal card is coming out here with this choice that you made, this fire energy, the Sagittarius energy that we have here in uh, Jupiter, okay? Jupiter's uh, still in play for you. And it also wants to be this top card, Vision. So this card absolutely sits on top of uh, the Sun card. This is the Sun in Pisces at this particular moment. So that changeover, those changes that you were asking for um, with last week's Moon energy um, is really starting to come into play. They are setting you up with that passionate thing that you want. You're going to be able to have made and justified that choice for this new Wheel of Fortune moment to come forward for you. Get through your energy of your feels here, okay? Cry out whatever it is that you need to cry out because your vision is very strong, okay? And then the last card we have also is organization. So um, this is the energy of uh, Mercury still doing a little bit of its deal here for you um, in uh, Capricorn. So um, very much in this earth and energy that we have here with this three of coin organization. So um, I almost wanna say Aries energy in a play, uh, in, in a sense when it comes to the strength of being organized and being the leader and setting those different types of things up. So if you're letting go of these fears, if you're liberating yourself from guilt or fear, or feeling like I can't or I'm not sure how to become this new leader, I'm not exactly sure what next step to make. I don't want to make a mistake when it comes to this new opportunity that I'm trying to divine for myself. Let all that go, okay? Let all of that go because it is coming towards you, okay? One more for Scorpios, please. Thank you so much. And here we go. Where's my flipper? There it is. Submission. Oh my gosh, I love this card. Okay, so the submission card. Okay, this is Venus now, also in that whole Pisces. If you can get a look at the imagery that's sitting here, you've got <laughs> Venus, again, who wants people to look good, feel good, and smell good coming in here. Also in that energy of what we had to go through with um, the moon last week. You've got this beautiful little bluebird set sitting here in this cage, but the door's wide open. What are you submitting to? Think about it in those terms. What are you submitting to? Let go of anybody else's idea of who it is, what it is, or what it is, how you're supposed to be doing something. This is you releasing somebody else's idea at this particular moment, as much as it is you being able to come into how it is that you want this clarity to show up for you based on this new vision that you are trying to bring into yourself, okay? That is exactly what this card means, Scorpio. Again, use this time well, we have this energetic break to realize that this is a personal growth opportunity for you. Look for the synchronicities and then you are going to awaken to your own majesty. This is going to be a bomb for you within the next week. I can already feel it. I can already feel it. This is going to be so fantastic. Okay, so Scorpio, that is what I have for you. Let us go ahead and move in now to the sign of Pisces. All right, Pisces, let me go ahead and just pull up these particular cards here. Again, um, 396 hertz for all of our water signs collectively is needed. Okay. And let us see what the dragons have for you this particular week. We'll move this little guy over here. Whoops. Get my piles all messed up, you guys, but that is all right with me. It's going to be fine. All right, Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Liberating yourself from guilt and fear. What do we have coming up for our Pisces this particular week? Monday the 28th through July the 4th. What do we got? And one more for good measure. Thank you. Okay, Pisces. Monday. 
Thank you. <laughs> Woo, well, I like this. Uh, we got the Five of Cups that's in the reverse position. Water energy. Water energy. Clearing. Healing. Being restored from something that was challenging you. So, Pisces, this is wonderful. So, you have moved and progressed a little bit forward, um, and that is exactly what you want to be able to have. You want to be in that energy of knowing that you're doing that. It looks like you are liberating yourself from this guilt or this fear of whatever change needs to be happening and occurring for you at this particular moment. Show me Tuesday's energy for our Pisces, please. Thank you. Okay, we have the Ace of Wands. You're still healing. This ace is going to come for you. That is that new passionate moment that it is that you're looking for. This is um, that fire energy that you're looking for. Um, it's also possible that you're still working with an Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius, um, potentially in that energy of who you're healing from. But you're healing. You're in the active. You're, you're almost there. Okay. Oh, thank you so much. Wow. Okay. So, yep, yeah, absolutely. On Wednesday, again, talking about that energy of where are you at with your dreams versus where you're at with how you're actually going to um, uh, manage your drive and reality with that Mars and Saturn energy that's there on Wednesday. So the moon in the reverse position means everything that you need to know has been provided to you. Everything that you need to know has been provided to you. So this energy of Pisces with the moon and Capricorn last week really it did its number for you. Okay, so Pisces, you received everything that you needed at that particular moment. Again, 396 hertz is something that you're supposed to be able to listen to to help support you and um, completely liberate you. All right. Let's see what we have for our Pisces on Thursday, please. Thank you. Also, Four of Swords energy, okay? Also, Four of Swords. Um, rest, relaxation. Um, be prepared to receive more downloads when it comes to that Thursday's energy within your dream time, your sleep time, okay? Moving forward. Clarity. We have the Strength card in the reverse position on that Friday. That means that you are healing, like exalted by this. You are really healing with this Leo energy, the sun energy that's sitting here. You are actively in it. You are releasing. You have started to gain what it is that you need at this particular moment, and it's speeding up. Saturday's energy. Okay, so we have the Page of Swords in the reverse position. What I'm getting is that there is potentially an air sign that is... Um, not providing you or is no longer following what is going on. This is also could be potentially you in the energy of realizing that your strength is in not looking backwards at this particular moment in that liberation that you are giving and granting to yourself at this particular time. Okay. Not going backwards, moving forwards. I want you to pay attention to how, when it's in the reverse position, you can see the dragon moving this way, not looking backwards. Okay. All right. All right, and what does our energy on that Sunday look like for our Pisces? Ah, it wants to be this one. Thank you. All right, so now we have the Four of Cups in the reverse position. You have, and I love this, you have taken advantage of a um, offer and you are declining the offers, what it looks like to me at this point. You looked at it, you examined it, you figured out what you needed to do with it, and you're like, nope, this is not for me at this particular moment. And I want to give you this sign as well. Bottom of the deck, the sun in the reverse position doesn't mean it's not coming. What it means is that you are building up the strength so that the sun can come out for you, okay? Um, this is actually a really good reading. What this means is that you've taken spirit's um, advice, and you are hearing and seeing the signs for what it is that you need to do next. Um, what else is coming for you? This is glorious. Not all offers are, are gleaming and shining. And you don't have to take every offer. You should always look at them, but you don't always have to take them. So if your heart of hearts said, ah, I can't really do this. This is not really for me. 
then by all means, feel no guilt, shame, or issue with that whatsoever, okay? So now let's go in with a uh, naughty unicorn card here and see what the naughty unicorns want to offer for our Pisces for this upcoming week. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Pisces. <laughs> Step away from crazy making diet for a hot second. Kale and spirulina taste like ass. <laughs> Eat some yummy shit. Bacon, chocolate, beer. Go get something that makes you feel good, okay? So the universe is saying, hey, give yourself a break. Give yourself a break. You are doing all of this healing right now. And even though you're trying to be healthy and even though you you got to give yourself time, you've got to pace out the different things that are happening on your journey, okay? You've got to give yourself an opportunity to be authentic to yourself. But you are doing a lot of spiritual healing and growing right now, which is gorgeous energy. I'm so happy to see that. Numerology now for our Pisces coming in. I'm going to go ahead and shuffle those back up. If that intuition card is meant to pop that gout then it will okay all right pisces numerology pisces numerology thank you thank you thank you Oop. and it wants to be this one that's in my hand teaching and learning okay is there another Yes. Um, what I'm getting here is that you are learning through... Oh, my goodness gracious. Okay. <laughs> they want me to take all of these. So there is a hot message that's going on for some of you. Um, I know this seems like a lot, but that's one of the reasons I wanted to do it this way. There is a teaching and learning moment. Um, there is definitely a spiritual partnership. Okay. Okay. There are also synchronicities that you're seeing. A lot of this has to do with love. There is opportunity for domestic harmony, and there is going to be a change, okay? There is going to be a change for you that is coming up within this particular week, and or you're healing from a change that you had within a love domestic partnership relationship, okay? Um, so um, the other way that they're asking me to put this together is that... <clears throat> This spiritual partnership, and it won't be a spiritual partnership for everyone with the relationship, but there is a spiritual partnership that you had a karmic relationship, okay? You had um, something very significant that was going on. These are the hardest relationships to make changes with because they are so magnetic for most people. It's very hard to get away with someone that you just know you're supposed to be with. Just because you're supposed to be with them doesn't mean that you're supposed to be with them forever. So the spiritual partnership that was full of love is going through a change and is affecting your domestic harmony. That's not not a problem okay it's not a problem and this is where you know you're healing from a situation from someone at this particular moment you don't have the passion or the spark at this particular second to get through what you want but you do have the information that you know or is is for you and you're going to be resting and continuing to heal through this but you're not going to go backwards okay others of you there is um not necessarily, well, there always is a chance for reconciliation, but I'm not necessarily seeing reconciliation in a relationship with somebody else. You are seeing the synchronicities that are coming through that are trying to point you in the right direction that's moving forward. And so again, liberate yourself from guilt and fear. This is all about a learning, okay? This is all about this karmic learning that you needed to be able to realize from the previous week upcoming. And so somebody needed to hear that very strategically, which is why all these different cards came out, okay? Now, now we're going to go on with the dragon oracle for our pisces to see what the dragons want to be able to offer okay what else do we have for our pisces please thank you now pisces you have the dark blue galactic dragon okay this is to help you listen to the voice of the universe okay ignite the codes of your master blueprint across cosmic wisdom and enter higher service this is extremely important. That's exactly what this card is right here. You have more work to do. Not all Pisces, but many of you um, 
are dialed into the fact that you are getting to this next phase within your awakening stage and that you need to absolutely dial in in order for you to dial into the universe to take advantage of this of this beautiful thing that they have for you with these synchronicities you have to let the old stuff go that old energy is making you stuck it's making you crabby it's making you irritable it's making you second guess your best judgment it's best for you to leave that stuff off to the side while you focus on you even if for some reason you wanted to allow that energy to come back this is the moment where you get to say nope this is all about me for this particular moment enjoy what you can enjoy about it so that you can feel sparked up okay so Scorpio that is what I have for you for this particular week I hope that you guys were able to resonate all of you Cancer Scorpio and Pisces with the way that I deliver this information this particular week again it was supposed to be light this is a week for marinating in that energy that we've had over the past um, couple of weeks for sure and being able to step forward and move forward with this information and um, uh, data that they're trying to give you for why you're at where you're at and the next best logical steps for moving forward for you if you didn't resonate with everything that was in here that is totally fine make sure that you're taking a look at your sun your moon and your rising they're all going to be done in the same way so look at the synchronicities or the similarities between those different readings i am available for personals if you'd like to take advantage of that that information is in the description box below and with having had said that water signs thank you very much we will talk to you next week bye for now